Yo, what is up, folks? Trips G here, and so we're taking a look at a pretty sweet cat hammer build for Timeless. When I say cat hammer, this is a domain zoo deck. We've got our wild cattles down here. We've got our shovel brawlers. These have to be cats. They have to be warriors. And then we have a uh, Colossus Hammer package. So we've got our Sagada's Aid. Uh, these Kemba out of those happen to be warriors. Um, Kemba can't enduring. Uh, picks up a hammer and also has some nice other cat synergies with equipment. Um, alongside that, Colossus Hammer, we have Shadow Spear up here, a Johnny, very permanent. We have to have like a red permanent, and also because I want to play a hero, we can't play like Stoneforge Mystic, so I'm playing Fighter's Class instead. Kind of does a double duty there to allow Johnny's backside to do damage. Um, but yeah, pretty solid. Uh, so we've got our, like Domain Zoo plan with like Wild Cattle, we've got Nashoba Brawler here, Leyline Binding, some really efficient removal, backing up the Leyline Binding with like some Lightning Bolts, and then Kemba's Outfitter, making our equipment cheaper. Resolute Strike gives a creature plus two plus two, and then if it's a warrior, you can attach equipment to it. It's a bit clunky, but actually, Wild Cattle happens to be a Cat Warrior, Nashoba Brawler happens to be a Cat Warrior. These things all work pretty well. Um, and then Sagar's Aid obviously gives you the ability to instantly equip uh, and cast it with Flash, which is super, super important. Uh, Shadow Spear is a nice one of here, but especially because there's a few different burn decks rolling around in Timeless at the moment. Um, a Johnny kind of holds everything to give you, together, gives you like, value, gives you two bodies, very cool, you can equip stuff. Obviously, have the ability to flip that and then start taking up. And just the, the, the backside of a Johnny is just so, so good. Uh, you can put cats on your cat. On your, on your, you can put counters on your cats, uh, especially with like the Trouble Brawler having Trample. Um, and then obviously the Zero is the really powerful one where you go, hey, I'm going to make a 2 1. And then if I have a red permanent, in this case, we only actually have Fighters Class. It is what it is. Um, you also get to dome uh, it's any target <laughs> the number of creatures you control, which is busted. Uh, only two Kemba. Obviously, we have like normal Sagada's Aid stuff. We've got the Kemba's outfit. Um, and so, like, we don't need that many ways to equip for free, but Kemba being able to pick up the hammer and also it enables your other cats to do this as well later on in the game. Um, and then, yeah, the Brawler's Fighters class being able to serve that kind of Stoneforge Mystic type of uh, effect to, like, find your hammer or the Shadow Spear if you need it. And generally, you're not going to level it up, but occasionally it's relevant. Um, and obviously, they are inviting just incredible removal horror together. The idea here is that we've got, like, a cat deck. So it takes advantage of like Ajani and Kemba with and that all kind of fits into the hammer package while being able to keep the same like great removal from with lightning bolt and leyline binding. It is a quote unquote fun zoo deck. I wouldn't necessarily claim that this is better than normal domain zoo, but it is pretty sweet. Uh, and obviously you get to click a hero here as well. Uh, each creature card in your starting deck is a cat. Nice, we fulfill that requirement, and then it busts your cats. Um, and obviously, you can get that at some nice added value with some of the slower decks in the format. Uh, the mana base is like fairly self explanatory. You're playing 17 lands here, four Heath, two Catacombs, one Strand, four Aramacer. And then, so we've got Xander's Lounge and Rafine's Tower as a kind of tri lands of choice with Temple Garden, a Sacred Boundary, and a Stomping Ground. And the only way that works, you end up going like Rafine's Tower into Stomping Ground if you want to like turn to the Shadow Brawler. It all depends a little bit on how your like hand is, um, but hey. I'm going to take this into some best of one at Simon's Rant games. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. would really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's get into some matches. Into uh, our first match here. Yeah, I'm still getting used to this audio setup, so please do let me know how you think in the comments. Got a new mic and stuff. Um, and hey, so we have Sigarda's Aid, we have a Johnny, we have Cam, we're just missing equipment. We don't have a great way of finding it. It's pretty awkward, especially in this format because it's quite quick. Like. This hand is like sort of fine, we can make a cat to Johnny, but really we're not doing much here. So I'm gonna mulligan this. Um, so this is a, a you'd think like a similar hand, um, but we have these and these creatures attack really well. Um, so we at least have that going for us. I'll put the strike on the bottom because we do have the Sagana's aid already. And uh, I think that, see how I want to sequence this. But we'll see what they're up to. Gigant and Black Cards is probably Rakdos, but there's a bunch of different variants still in the timeless format. We don't really know what our opponent's up to. Um, that is fine. Given we have this, I'm just going to go ahead and find a stomping ground to play the Wild Cow. And we'll, we'll see how this plays out. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird time to make this video. Like, uh, I know I've been pretty quiet on the channel recently. Um, and obviously we've had Bloomberg out. Bloomberg has been pretty cool, but it's not really impacted uh, a ton on the formats that I play a lot of. I've got a couple of decks still kind of like really lined up to play. Um, I've been taking it easy. I've had some other external stuff going on as well. Obviously I was away for a bit, but uh, hey. Ooh. You care about the Tarmogoyf? Hmm. 
if we get a untapped land now, make a brawler, next time we can find uh, the Rafine's Tower and binding this, what else for us they play? I think that's the best plan. So I want to find an untapped white land here. Probably a Temple Garden. The Sacred Foundry is tempting. I think extra green sources is what we want. How much passer? Yeah, so this finds Rafine's Tower, and then we have a choice of what we're doing, depending on what our opponent responds with. Uh, actually, okay, actually Jund. Oh. I can never remember what some of these alchemy cards do. You can mount a card of mana value 2 or less, and a card of mana 3 over here. Okay, nice. Same the binding's annoying. I kind of feel fine about that. Um... I'm question marking here, but they get to trade into it. I think that's fine for them. Uh, I want, I want giving this up here. We want blue and black. I, either of these is actually fine, but we want the extra white sauce over whatever else. I'll play this. So we'll we'll hold this because I don't know we have it. We can pair this up for some hammer blowout. It's tough though. If the game goes on particularly long, especially since we've mulliganed, and this is giving them some nice card advantage. I don't know, you're kind of forced to play these cards this turn. So seek a card with mana value 2 or less, and a card with 3 or greater. Discard those cards beginning of your next turn's end step. Sure. Ah, more alchemy cards. Jarcel, Dark Age Scion. Oh yeah, it's casting from your graveyard. That's pretty great. Uh, okay. Let's get this out of here. I'm just going to play this Agada's Aid out because they can have like another Thoughtseize effect. Um, but we're we're behind here. This is a nice, like, hey, at least we have Kahira. That's the kind of situation we're in. Yeah. Oh, another Parallel Iteration is rough. Yeah, this is a ton of card advantage, assuming you get to play the cards off of it. And, uh, yeah. That's a tough one. Alright, we drew a hammer, but we're not... Doesn't do anything yet. like a rough game but yeah i do have some boom stuff absolutely lined up uh i posted a video with like the chess guy deck there's some other cool wizard stuff there's also uh, i think a primal players deck that um aspiring work has done some work on i was like oh i wonder if i can port this over so should be something with that which would be pretty sweet for timeless um and we have a banner restricted announcement on august 26th which i honestly cannot wait for um you hope oh, we're, we are dead to minx can be uh, yeah. All right. Well, rough opener. Rough opener. Yeah, rough match up there with a John. We then immediately have one land. It's really gonna go ahead and mulligan again here. Um, we'll go ahead and keep this. This looks alright. So again, we have Sagada's aid and a Kemba. So I'm not looking at this resolute strike. We're kind of getting carried a little bit by the um, by the water cattle here. Ragavan. They do just remove it. Uh, the upside is if I play the tower now, I can definitely cast Binding next turn. I can go Binding Wild Account or Binding the other way around. Gives them one free hit with Rag. Uh, Den of the Bugbear implies something more akin to Burn. The real issue is that if I fetch Stomping Ground, we don't really have a play lined up for next turn. So I think I'm going to play this. And then we can at least double spell next turn, finding an untapped land. And it might hurt. This looks to be like Ratzos Burn, but like playing the. Good. Can't make any use of that. Solid, we'll take those. Um, Bloomberry, Wizards, Primal Prayers. Oh, yeah, there's a banner. Yeah, I, just, I started talking about the BNR. Um, let's do this. So the banner shift announcement is August 26th. Obviously, there's not going to be, there's pretty much guaranteed to be no changes in this format we're playing right now. But uh, I play a lot of Explorer um, alongside Timeless on the channel, uh, and that format is a little um, solved, stale at the moment. There's only really three like good decks, um, and everything else is kind of just filtering around. Um, I'm hoping there's some change there. I'm also playing a bunch of modern at the minute for Oski season. Um, and so, 
obviously Nadu is the, the the real like thing it's about. Nadu is the big thing that it's, that's that's uh, uh, people are excited for the ban announcement about. Hmm. I'm worried about the Bone Masters. I'm like, is there any reason for me to save this and not do this on their turn? I don't think there is. This is fine. Oh, they do have a treasure. Um, okay. Sure. If they have a two mana burn spell, if they have a, like, a light... If, what two damage burn spell are they playing here? Oh, they do have a play with fire in the deck. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. The bone master is not particularly good against us. It's just a couple of damage. You do want to get this Ragavan out of the way. Um. I'm like... Teensy, 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 little bit worried about Blood Moon, but like not really. I'll go ahead and try this. Get the Ragavan. And then, yeah, I do, I do have some cool. Cool Explorer Pioneer decks to uh, check out some Blue Mirror cards. I've just not had a chance to go back to things. But hopefully, be uh, back making videos pretty regularly again. There was like a small period while I was daily uploading. Um, so we don't, I don't really want to show this stuff. I think we just paint the Ajani because it's two bodies. Is this non token? Just anything, right? Yeah, I'm just looking at the backside of Kamano's. Um, I don't think I want to pay a bunch of life to get the Sigarda's uh, aid into play. So that's fine. They're going to remove the Johnny. That's not the end of the world. Happy to trade in a Johnny for some points of damage here. Leaving alive is dangerous. Uh, I'm not playing, I believe, any surveil lands here. Um, that's because it's a, a little bit clunky already. Uh, we don't need to make it harder on ourselves. Um, but I think it, there's probably space for like one to play in here. We're playing a, lot, a large number of fetches. Uh, huh. Starting loyalty three. Oh, but they get to do this. Uh, if I flip this attack and kill it, now you can't attack your bow masters. All right. I think this is better, even though the, the Johnny would soak up three damage, but now that we've like I'll like, use resources killing the token, like hey, look, we still have all this guy at least. Um again, we would like to have more green sources. Green, green and white are the two big colours. Right, we did draw a temple garden as well. Alright, now you're in danger, see? Anything could happen in the next half hour. A wise man once said. Alright, there's a pass out like this. Oh, right. Is it by a red permanent? Oh, a source you control would die. Any source? I thought it was red. Damn. Uh, still, though. They're not gonna have like a like, thing. I think taking these blocks is fine. Let's get this off the board actually. We're very close to be able to make tokens with this, we just can't afford to take our time with it, especially with the den, especially with Luris coming soon. Ooh, they had a bow masters. Can't really play around that one. We've not really drawn hammer. No, I'm feeling bad. I don't really want to go to three either, but we're in a situation. Being able to play Kimanos again off of uh, is pretty great. I'm just going to draw. Alright, we get a hammer turn too late already. Okay, okay. Cat okay. Hammer off to a rough start. 
Oh, this would be okay if we had like a creature. Um, we've been getting a lot to be fair. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put the. This feels wrong. I'm gonna put Sagada's aid on the bottom. Uh, and we're gonna look to fetch. Uh, Rafine's tower into something ground. And the plan is let's just like lead with the Shoba Brawler stuff and then run out of the fighters class and have these as like the backup plan in this game. Triumph's interesting. Could be on some kind of like Jessica. Could be on some kind of Jessica control cell. So Holy Storm Giants definitely leaned into like, hey, I'm playing Jessica control. That is a suspect. Maybe not then. That could be like a slick shot. That could be. Oh no, no, no. no. Plot stuff we actually know about. So. That actually an actual Fatal card, uh, which is, uh, if anything, even more worrying. Um, I guess if they cast Show and Tell, we can cast Lightning and Burning. We can put Lightning and Burning into play. I'll grab one of these. Gotta have interaction, buddy. But not too much, please. Face a mountain. I get a bonus creature. Am I worried about a sweeper? What feel like? It's, oh, he's got triple white, so cast from. Nah, it's not. Hmm. I guess cast this. We do actually have another fighter class. I think this is fine, we just have to leave this around. It's better than like either cast of the water cattle into potential wrath or like something like that. Or uh I don't know. It looks better than as resolved. If they have like a temporary lockdown, I'll be I'll crash out. <laughs> Given these. Okay. Okay, Prismari command. Interesting, interesting. And they foretold a card. Is that a dragon storm? That is a dragon storm. Okay, I see. This thing I might not be I might not be up to much. We might be operating on a different angle. Uh yeah, sure. Okay, we're going to be dead next time. We couldn't threaten lethal here because it doesn't equip for free, so it's a pay mana. They're on three. Can you cast this? Let me hold up to Leon Binding. Let's see what, what on earth they do this time. Faithful Mending. I'm trying to think how much mana it is to overload Mizix's. Oh, so if you cast a couple of spells into Mizix's back dragon storm, depends what they get as well. Ah, I love it. Yeah, I'm not, uh, not, not, not super happy with our position, even if our opponent's on five. Okay. Blading the Risen in the yard. And we got mana from Magma Opus. This would be the next level players to take this. We gamble on that. Five. 
There's a Fatal card. I don't, still, I'm still like not sure what that would be. They did this, right? I'm in. Get yo treasure out of here. <laughs> yeah. Surely this will affect the outcome of the game. I just don't think we're going to have any other point of interaction where like we can actually pot even potentially stop what they're doing. So they got a three here, um, which means we do have like lightning bolts and stuff. But if they have dragon storm for lethal. Okay, there's a doom scar. All right. Uh, this is not a cat warrior. Right. What was this quick for one? No, I'm going to cast this. Alright. Well, it didn't kill us off five mana last turn. Interesting. Oh, they needed an untapped white source. So actually, if they didn't hit the Hallow Fountain, that would have been fine and we just stopped and cast this Doom Scar. I did have the right read, though. That's what this was. I was like, what am I that be? Um, I'm going to try and equip it. Can't animate fountain. Sell the wreckage. Oh no. What? Why did this happen to me? Oh, okay. I have the full suite of different wrath fights. I'm so. Not all our power bills are like. The problem with the, the. Actually, one of the problems with this format in general is that there aren't very good rats. Um. I'm gonna pass here. If they. Basically, I'm playing around Lightning Bolts, you've got the Resolute Strike. Okay. Yeah, trying to play around Lightning Bolt by holding this up. And the next time we can try and equip it and have the Resolute Strike up too. Mending, mending. What we got? We got Terror of the Peaks in the graveyard here. Cool stuff. So uh, what I was thinking they were looking to do was like overload Mizzix Mastery, which is like the four mana exile and then sort of switching your graveyard and cast it for free, but then it's got like an eight mana overload mode, which lets you then obviously take advantage of all the storm stuff. Um yeah, speaking of Mizzix Mastery. So they get two dragons here. Let's see what they get. So we know there's a Blade Wing and a Terror of the Peaks in the graveyard already. They're going to get a Terror of the Peaks. The second one is going to get a Blade Wing. Blade Wing returns a dragon from your graveyard to the battlefield, which is pretty rough. 4 4. Oh, because they're going to return Blade Wing. And then these things will. That trigger will go on the stack and bring the Blade Wing back. Well, this is really sweet. Even if we did kind of potato around a little bit. We got, we got. Deem's got a stack of the wreckage. Sag. Alright. We're, we're kind of dead. I'll just keep it up. They can put a bunch of these triggers on the stack and then. Okay, we got 03 with cats. I'm gonna keep this hand because it's got cats in it. But, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. This has not gone the way I'd hoped. Actually, like, not this season, last season, when I was like. Up in uh, up north playing, I was about to say where. Uh, up north playing like off a laptop. I like actually did a bunch of ladder climbing with this. Um, but we are having some rough games today. Obviously, the deck has some clear weaknesses. Let's not look too hard at the resolute strike I have in my hand. Uh, but you know, we are where we are. Where we are. Maybe we should get a nice beatdown game, and maybe that's this. Maybe that's the. Solution to all our problems.
Portsies. It's another than the cattle down at the ranch. Alright. <laughs> they know too much, they took the resolute strike. I'm uh, not a fire the Rafine Sour yet, just so I can play two cats this time. I'll just go Temple Guard and Cat Cat. If these both die, then the video will end. Sorry, if all three of these cats die, the video immediately the, the video will end. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Uh, ooh, Jund. Okay, there's one cat in. Surveil, land of the graveyard. It's a little land sorcery instant. Okay, the show overall is pretty decent. Let's make our attacks. This one's the Fire Fiend Stout. We play this. It's got. It's hopefully big and has trample. And maybe we get there. Find out next time on Dragon Rage C. Dragon Rage C. I was looking like, are they dashing this? They are not. Push now. Hmm. It's yeah, so that one type of way. So like, if you like kill the ragaman with like a burn spell or something, then this becomes a three-three. Not oh, that matters too much. Um. This you do want to hide. Well, not hide, but. Uh, I'll attack with these. It might actually be a go get a shadow spear angle. Bone masters. Okay, this is interesting. Does it enable, enable some interesting trading? If they, if they put a point of damage on the on the draw there, something goes in front of that. Maybe the ragavan, but they still take four there. Because they need to block both of these. Right, you can't block like that. You can't block like that. You can't part there, sir. All right, all right. Last match. I'm a little sad because we've not seen the like full hammer part of the deck come out, but maybe this game, and we get to keep seven for like one of the first times ever, <laughs> which is nice. Um, and our land sequence. Kind of <laughs> I set out a land sequence nicely, but it's only because we don't have a one drop. The mana base is awkward, uh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, we just want to find the repeat sound. <laughs> yeah, after after this, I'll do a quick wrap up, and I'll show you the other like Lurus version of the deck, which is, I'll be honest, maybe a little better. Oh, is this Dredge? Other other games. Oh, I've not seen Ripples on Death in these builds yet. I didn't really. It is it is solid. Um, if it triggered the time you cast it, I think I'd be all on board. But uh. Yeah. I'm going to file all that one off to the side as a big dread dredge aficionado. Um, if you're new to the channel, I've played uh, quite a lot of different dredge decks. I'm just going to make a brawler. I'm going to make the biggest creature possible. If we draw a land next turn, we can like look to the fighters, like make fighters class and stuff. Okay, so founding. What are they founding? Founding for... Is a glimpse? They do have the glimpse. Okay. A moment of truth. Wish us luck. So they hit the wonder, which gives other creatures flying. They hit one chill. And they do have a ghoul, so the ghoul will come back on their end step, which means this, these two prize amalgams will come back on my end step. Which is rough. Oh, we did draw the hammer. It's a little late. Um, not late, to be fair. The nice thing about judges is that we don't have to worry about too much interaction. Um... Like, how's the, what's the best way we get to lethal? So this can make one of these thing. We're at 14. I think we do this. Let me play the hammer out. Okay. Let's see, that creature's all having flying is tough. 
Um, so they can, if they hit two creeping chills here, we are done. As one. Okay. If you're interested in Dredge in the Timeless format, please do check out. I've got a few different videos on the deck of a few different builds on my channel. Uh, we're at 11, so currently this isn't got haste. Well, it doesn't have haste, which is good. We need it to not have haste. We also need them to not hit Creeping Chill here. That's not Creeping Chill. Good about that one. What else do they have? Secret Keeper to block is actually super annoying. They're also at 19 now. Now we untap land. This costs us life though. Is there a way we can make this better? I think we have to make them mess it up, right? There's not a way for us to not to win if we don't make them mess it up. So all the creatures have flying, so we're just dead in the air next turn. We are just we are just dead by the way. We have no we have no recalls here. Unless they like a block with everything somehow. But uh, even then we're dead to the blood gas and the something like cool. Yeah, there it's We are we are dead to us. Alright, little wrap up. Um the hammer stuff didn't really come together there. This is a pretty fun deck, and it does have some good matchups. Um and we struggled in these matches here. Uh we did take a game though. Um, our opponent could have boxed a little bit better, and we might even not get that one, but it was not the worst. There are a couple of points where like, I mana failed us a little bit, um, and yeah, Dredge is actually just a pretty rough matchup. Um, you can see the difference there between the, the, the world of difference it makes when you have Sagada's Aid versus being able to actually have to pay even just one mana uh, for the equip cost here. But this is the more like, hey, we're playing like Kahira, we got cats. Um, this is the more cute cat hammer deck. And so let me just very quickly show you this build. Now this build, I'm less happy with it. And I was wanting to try and play the other one because it is, I think the more fun deck um, with cats and things. Here we have to have like, so the deal here basically is that we're playing it as a Luris deck. We still have all the cats. We still have all the cat interaction stuff. But we have Luris and instead of um, fire class, which is a pretty awkward to, we just call it a bad card. Uh, we have actual Stone Forge Mystic here, um, which obviously gets either Shadow Spear and the Hammer. And so I think if you're wanting to play this deck on ladder, um, then this is a better build. Uh, we have like Source to Plowshares instead of Leyline Bindings. We're playing a much cleaner mana base. Um, and so this is the more competitive build of the deck. I will have links to both in the, uh, in the description of the video up on Moxfield. I'll also say this isn't the 42nd version of the Hammer deck. I just put a number here to differentiate the deck, deck list a bit more. Um, because otherwise it'll, I don't know, yeah, naming conventions and stuff. The deck is fun. Um, it does have some bad matchups on, 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 on the ladder, for sure. Um, but hey, I thought it'd be a fun one to showcase. I should hopefully have um, a Timeless deck with Otters, um, and also a Timeless deck with Primal Prayers, so hopefully pretty soon. And there's some, also some pretty spicy stuff for Explorer as well. Even though there's not been a lot of movement, there's a couple of decks I'm like, oh, this looks sweet. Let's try and mess around with this. And also, um, I meant to make a video with the Rat Dust Tree deck like four or five months ago before it even got really popular. And uh, yeah, I think I'll do that one as well just because I've not had a chance to show it yet. And it is pretty sweet. Um, so, hey. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do like, subscribe, hopefully back to regular content and uploads. Um, let me know if you've got any decks in particular or cards you want to see. Uh, and yeah, I do have some stuff in the pipeline and planned. And uh, yeah, take care. Have a great day. Peace out.